Well, this video is going to be about my new dust extraction system for my Excalibur scroll saw. I originally tried the saw with the vacuum system that came with it, which was uh, that this plastic fitting here was screwed under the table. And uh, uh, the bottom side of the table has a, a recess cut in it. It's just a little narrow, it's a little trench cut in here that goes from, uh, it's about a half moon or a radius here on the end. And we'll just pipe that here underneath, aiming down. And there was a little trench cut in here all the way up and around this set of holes here. And uh, it's only about a sixteenth of an inch deep from underneath here. So that leaves only a sixteenth inch gap at the front of this air fitting to draw air under there. And then uh, to go on up to where the holes are in the table where the dust has to go through, had this little thin piece of plastic which is it's uh, really flimsy. And that glued onto the bottom side of the table to cover that little recessed area. So the recess went up here around. So <laughs> when you turn the vacuum, I hooked the regular shop back to it. And when you turn it on, first thing it did was suck this plastic right down into the recess. So really no vacuum got to the blade area at all. Needless to say, it didn't work and it didn't catch any sawdust at all on mine. It had just as much sawdust underneath the saw with it turned on as it did with it turned off. So then I thought a while and decided I'm gonna have to make something different. Plus, I really didn't like that hose that I had aiming down the side of my uh, scroll saw. Kind of ugly. So I came up with this idea. It's just a little square box here I made. A tube, a piece of wooden tubing. And I uh, made a whole new piece up here to suck the air through. And that's a piece of it was a piece of half inch plywood and I r ripped it thinner in the bandsaw. I think it's about three eighths now. And I took the router and cut a, a trench inside up toward that table. So that made the depth of that recess in the table about three times as deep as it was originally. And uh, so that gives it a lot more room for air to go from those little holes up here by the blade sucking down that way and uh, I had to thin it down here to get, keep enough clearance here and it seems to work and I can tip the I can lean the blade 45 degrees and uh, it doesn't hit it so it works quite well actually <laughs> it, it seems to catch all the dust and it even draws most of the dust off the top of the table. And uh, I wanted to keep this, to keep this uh, leaf on the table, I wanted to keep it so it would drop down. And so that's why I, I cut a hole in the leaf. So the leaf can fold down and away from this tube and there's a gasket under here. So when you pull the leaf up, it seals it up against this dust pipe. And the dust pipe's underneath, which eventually I plan on running it straight back. I need a longer hose to move the dust collector. And being that I tried the vacuum first and decided it was way too powerful, I thought, well, it would sure be nice to have a vacuum cleaner 
that had uh, a speed control on it so you could slow the motor down. But since I couldn't find anything like that, I thought, well, I'm gonna go to the internet and look, see what they got for dust collectors, low powered ones. So I found one at Harbor Freight. It was the 13 gallon, one horsepower dust collector. Here it is over here. I laid some stuff on it. Just try to make it a little quieter just for playing with it and testing it. But anyway, that's it. It's not very big. It's, it's fairly small and it's actually pretty quiet. But uh, it would be a little quieter if it had a balanced impeller. The impeller vibrates. And it does make a little excess noise. That's why I got all this stuff laying on to see if I could stop that. But it would have to have the impeller taken out and balanced or get a different one. But it was only $150 or something. So, and I think right now they're on sale. $25 off of that. So, and it's pretty quiet. I mean, I'm surprised. It's got a four inch intake on it and then I put a, it's just a piece of wood over the hole and bored a two and a quarter inch hole in it for my hose. And it still has plenty of suction for this saw. So, we got that light over there, let's move that out of the way. And if you notice, underneath, in case I don't use dust collection, I added a little sheet metal baffle here. I took the uh, blade guard off under there and it leaves two screw holes at the top. And I use those to screw that on. What that does is keep sawdust from dropping down in the bearings on the arms. It stop most of it anyway help keep those bearings cleaner and they should last longer maybe it's my theory well I also did uh, drill three holes here in the end just past the holes in the plate to a little, little more air draw in there but maybe that would help and I think it does well uh, I'll have to try it out here and show you how it works. we got to mount this on a tripod. Hey, I'm not sure if anything much will show up on the camera, but we'll try this. That's a... Uh, try cutting some pieces of... i got some red cedar there. That sh sawdust shows up nice on the white table if it does get on there. First thing I need to do is uh, overturn the dust extractor on and you can hear how noisy it is a lot of the noise comes from just the air drawn down through these holes in the table so anyway i'll go turn it on well there it is it's turned on i don't know how much noise it's going to put on the camera but Make some uh, cuts here. See what happens. Move it up a little. Blowing. 
enough for a test. You shut off the vacuum. If I can get that impeller balanced, it would be a lot less noisy. Let me take the uh, camera back off the tripod so we can see how much dust got under it. I don't think I got very much. Move my stool out of the way. Move the tripod out of the way. This chair back here so I can get under it. See how much dust we got underneath. Doesn't appear to be much at all, if any. I don't see any dust under there. I think it pretty much captures it all. And after the table, doesn't have very much either. So, it just isn't any dust anywhere. So I got pretty much all the dust. So 
So it works quite well. I like the dust system now. It works really good. And it was fairly simple to make. It wasn't too much to it. Took a lot of thinking to get it before I started on it to get what I wanted. And I wanted to make sure that table drop, leaf would drop down. And it does. I, uh, I have to unhook the uh, vacuum hose though to drop it down. But that's easy to do. Let me show you here quick. Just pull the hose off underneath, like so. And then reach under and remove the drop leaf out of the way. And there we go. And that's there's just a hole in the in the drop leaf and that comes up up to my vacuum port. Got a little uh, foam seal there. And it works really well. I like it. Nice idea. Plus I got a little more room up up at the top up here. More clearance here with this new one in there. Well, that's enough for this video. Just thought I'd try to show how I made that, roughly. I'm not gonna tell anybody measurements and stuff because somebody always wants to copy it. You're welcome to copy it, but not from my measurements. If you're gonna copy it, you're gonna do it the hard way. Well, it's enough for now. We'll see you later. Bye.